a, a useful subject for this series of teaching. No longer tapping into, but start living now. And that word tapping into. We've associated with the born again experience. We tapped into the kingdom of God. And, and one, one, one writer says it's high time that we awaken out of our sleep. All right, man. All right, yeah, all right. Said it's high time that the presence of the kingdom is realized. Yeah. Let, let me say this as an opening disclaimer. We, the believers, are not fighting for victory. Amen. 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 I need you to get that. that. That's important. Amen. We are not fighting for victory. Amen. 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 We fight in victory. Amen. Let, let me give you another piece that may stagger you so you can understand it. When the Bible says, fight the good fight of faith, your victory operations are in your faith. Let, let me bring that on down. Your belief in God is what establishes the manifestation yeah. of victory from us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me say something else then. What Jesus came for, he finished it. Thank you for yes, yeah. In St. John, in ah. Mark, especially in St. John, he says, from Calvary, it is finished. Notice he didn't say, I am finished. That's not what he said. He said, it is finished. Amen. Grab this piece, please. I need you to grab this. Satan is a defeated fall. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. He, he ain't just not got defeated. Yeah. All right now. It's been over 2,000 years ago yes, when he lost his authoritative power. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Say Did you get this? He lost it. Jesus took it. Yes, it did not belong to him. He bullied Adam's wife <laughs> with deceptive communication and made her think that God was keeping something from them. And she chose to believe the enemy. That's 
why you fight the good fight of faith. Who do you believe? Whose report do you receive? I need you to get this because I'm telling you that God wants to further establish himself through the people of God. Yes, he does. Amen. 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 Let me use an illustration that Jesus used. He said, you are like a city that settled in the heat, right, yeah, that cannot be hidden. What is he really trying to say to the body? He's saying, I want to put you on display. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Are y'all listening? Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. I want my power being utilized so by you that folk cannot ignore you and you got the sense to give God the glory. I need you to get this. Because he's, he's calling for Greater operations through us. Yes, 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 okay? Let, let me throw this out, just throwing it out. You can't hardly tell the saint from the sinner. Amen. Lord, Lord. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sit. Calls. 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 Because oh, if you oh. rub some of us the wrong way, oh Lord, if your trials get too Lord, have mercy. heavy, oh. if your troubles become seemingly overbearing, seemingly. Seemingly, you can't sometimes tell the saint from the sinner. But God is calling for a distinction. A distinction that watch this. Too much of the church is embarrassed to display. Amen. 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 Lord have mercy. Because the kind of distinction that God wants from the believer is not fashionable. It's not what's trending. It's not a highlighted topic. All right. We all hearing? Yes. Talk, talk, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and much of the church. Now, please, let me throw this addendum in there. It's a folk ain't by the bell yet. Yeah. Right. Hey. It's a folk still standing. Oh, God. Hey. Yes, it is. And, and, and it's a folk that says, for God I live and for God I die. Yes, yeah. yes, he, he's going to utilize those folk and he's preparing that group to bring them to the forefront. My Lord. My Lord. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, sir. Because it's time to start living this thing yes, yes, with, with the sincerity of a pure heart. Amen. Amen. And watch this. I, I, I'm going to help somebody. If, if you let me. Listen to this. You and I should not be deterred from
from exercising the power of God because you sin conscious. Say it, sir. Say it, sir. Amen. Like, say it, sir. Too many of us thinking from a sin conscious perspective that he can't use me. Because of your sin consciousness. So you're thinking that your sin consciousness is robbing you of kingdom exports. That's what the devil wants you to think. Say I'm not gonna take this up. Turn to Hebrews chapter 10. Say it. I'm going to talk to you a little bit this morning. Go ahead and say it. Hebrews chapter 10. Mm -hmm. uh, Verses 1 and 2. Let me write this down. Let me this down. Chapter 10, verses 1 and 2. Let, let me, for brevities, give you uh, excerpts from it. The priest had to go in once a year. Right. Amen. And, and, and bring forth offerings and sacrifices for the sins of the nation. That's what it's saying, but that what he was doing could not bring the people of God into a place of completion. The word perfect there in the KJV. They couldn't come to a place of completion. They couldn't come to a place of fullness. They couldn't come to a place of greater maturity because they were ever sin conscious. Say it. Amen. Amen. But then, but then, but then, here comes someone that's able, it's in the text, that's able to purge us. Once and to where we are no more conscious of sin. Let me drop this like a hot. It simply means when you come in the Christ, oh, I, I'm talking to somebody here, you no longer a sin problem. Oh God. Oh God. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sensitive in the spirit. I, I know some of us are wrestling with some stuff that, that you don't think you can break loose. You know it's not right, but it seems to have a, a toehold on you. And don't want to let you know. That's because you have not accepted the report of the kingdom of God. You no longer have a sin problem. Sin can no longer hold you captive. No longer about. Yes, God. Romans. Romans. What is it, eight? Is it wrong, man? Absolutely. <laughs> Romans 8 and 1. There is, therefore, now. 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 Right now. Now. No condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the 
in the spirit. But watch this. I told you. I told you earlier. It's your focus. I told you. It's your focus. It's your focus. What are you focused on? Because what you are focused on is what you are sensitive to. Oh. If, if, if you more focus on the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, if that's your focus, that's what you're sensitive to. Amen. 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 So solid. Amen. Yes, what's your focus? Amen. Because if that's your focus, you neglect the things of God. And when you neglect the things of God, watch this, now your heart is hard. Yeah. It don't make no what you see happen. Oh God. Look at that. Look at that. It, it doesn't matter what God does, how he does it, when he does it, and with whom he used to do it through. It don't matter when your heart is hard. That, that's what was wrong with, with, with that rascal called Pharaoh. God did all of those miracles in front of him. But they said, watch what it said, and his heart was hard. Because he neglected the things of God. Amen. Say it, sir. Watch this. Let me, let me, get, let me get rich. <laughs> rich. Already rich. Listen. This is shallow but rich. Neglecting the things of God is when you don't like folk around you. Hold on. Your heart's hard. Now, 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 as Pastor Nick said, now you see more personality than you hear God. Because your heart's hard to the individuals that are around you. Because you are you are called to love one another. Yes, we are. Listen, you, you can't be saved and not love. I'm going to tell you right now. You need to go back and do it again. I mean, again, you got folk running out and you can't stand. You just need to do it again. Go back to the altar. You know how I know you need to do it again? Because love is a natural attribute when you come into Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. It's natural. God is love. God can't walk in you and not produce love from you. Mm. Uh, my brother, I may borrow the words of John. John says, Young's a liar and the truth is not in you. Then <laughs> that John's John. 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 Yeah. You, you got to understand. Because see, Say it, sir. God needs us that we might demonstrate his power. And, and the reason why, let, let me explain this to you, see, because some of us missing this. The reason why God needs us, because God cannot defy his own word. Say that, sir. I, I need you to get this. His word is greater than he. Well, which simply means God cannot come against what he has already proclaimed. Because if he does, he becomes a liar and he ceases to be God. You all hear it? He gave you and I dominion. Watch this. I said this before years ago. It's time for us to stop sending God and you go. Hold on. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing is, is that I position myself by, by my choice that God may have preeminence and predominance in my life. That he can use me in a way that he so chooses to use me. That's a decision that you have to make. And if you decide to put your mind on the heavenly things, then earth 
is going to be taken care of. Yeah. 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 Oh my Lord. Okay. 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 Colossians 3. Colossians chapter 2. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Colossians chapter 3. Say it. Okay. What do you say? There it is. What's this? What's this? What's this? What is it? This girl right here. This girl right here. He says, if. I'm using KJV. If. Ye then be risen with Christ. Oh my God. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. When you die. You can't be risen unless you first die. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Look at that. Uh -oh. I know, I know, I know. I call it, I call it. That's what it is. Some of us are dying and not yet dead. Yeah. Oh my. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all help me talk if I'm telling the truth. Say it, sir. Too many of us still dying. Well, if you're still dying, you can't be resurrected. Dead folk are resurrected. Resurrected. So, so I, I've said this. I've said this. I know at least in, in the last thirteen years, I've said this at least five times. Help you understand what Paul meant when he said, "I'm, I'm, I'm, I'm dying daily." He, he, he wasn't talking about. He, he wasn't talking about what you thought he was talking about. <laughs> he thought y'all thought he was talking about dying in the, to the flesh daily, but he wasn't talking about dying to the flesh. He was talking about dying in the flesh. Let me explain that. See, he was talking about his life was being put on the line every day for Christ. That every day he was being threatened. His physical life was being threatened. Not, not dying in a spiritual sense. But we must die. You, you got to, that, that's good by the thing right there. It is again. You have to know that when Christ died, we died. Yeah. 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 Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. If that ain't the case, then how in the world did he become our substitute? How is it that he took our place if I, you, didn't die when he died? Yeah. Uh -huh. I need to understand. Lord, Lord. I'm trying to help us because I want to see us. I want to see us demonstrating the power of God to where it cannot be ignored. Amen. Oh. Glory to God. Amen. Got to be good. Okay. Say it, sir. Okay. Let, let me push you a little further. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things. Which are above. Yeah, yeah. Where Christ sitteth mm -hmm. on the right hand of God. Seek the things that are above. Here it is again. Your focus. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your focus. What you're focusing on is what you're sensitive to. Your focus. Okay. What verse 2 says, mm -hmm. set, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Mm. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> What's this? Mm -hmm. If we set our affection on the things that are above, then God, what's this? Has already ordered our steps. Already. So I am sensitive to the ordering of my steps to where now earth is a piece of cake. Amen. Oh, can, I, can I 
I break somebody's word right now? Can I break somebody's word in the frustration and anxiety? Can I break it right now? Let me break it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there in Jesus' name to break that right now. Listen, in Christ, you have entered into his rest. His rest. Are y'all hearing me? His rest. That means us is don't worry about nada. Nada. Amen. Y'all, y'all talking that when I move here. That, that's a that's a Virginia word right there. Name thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You don't need to worry in Christ. You you said it. You said it. You said it. You said it. Oh, Henry, you said it. That, that's why you don't need to worry. You said it. Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. Pull that stronghold down. 
Any word that comes against the word of God, it said, pull it down. You you got to stop caring whether they like you or not. Say it, sir. Say it. Don't, don't just let people feed you anything. Your stuff. 
Tell God to pray for me because I'm, I'm back. Your son. Don't let your stuff have greater value than the things you can't see. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't pray anymore like that. For your stuff is temporary. And all that's connected to him It'll stand the test of time Y'all hear me? I know someone that uh, has fixed it To where you and I can tap uh, Through the born again experience and start living in the eternal. Build! Build! Yes, sir. Y'all got to hear this. Build your hopes on things eternal and hold on. Hold on to Unchanging hands. Hold on. Don't be shaken. Don't be moved. Don't be rattled by what's going on in the earth. But hold on. Hold on. We have unchanging hands. I'm a witness. Can I get ten more out there? Yeah. I am a witness. He knows how to handle it. He knows how to fix it. He knows how to secure it. He knows how to provide for it. He knows. How to heal you. Holy God. I wish I had a few minutes to get here. Holy God. Oh. 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 Start living now. Start living it now. Mm-hmm. Say it's not your problem. Your problem is get for us. Start living it. It's what you're neglecting that's causing you to be hardened. Start living it now. Don't allow, see my last statement. Don't allow people to speak ill gotten of what's in the word. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Because Faith comes by hearing. By hearing the word of God. That's mountain moving. Mountain moving. That's parting red seas and water across on dry land. Faith. That's feeding a multitude of 5,000 with two fish and five biscuits. That's faith. It's walking on the water. Peter walked on the water. 
Yeah, he, he went on. But, 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 but Jesus called him by the hand. And watch this. Read it, read it. And they walked back. They walked back to the boat. He walked on water. Don't, 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 don't let people kill your water walking dreams. No matter what they think, how they feel, we're in the business of please God. That's who we're in the business of being. And, and I'll tell you, sometimes it gets to be a lonely journey. Yeah. Sometimes. But that's why Jesus said that on this journey, you'll meet a passerby. Amen. Every now and then. Oh, it gets a little lonely sometimes. But don't, don't let that sweat you. But don't, don't let it sweat you. Stand firm, stand strong. Start living now in the realm of the spirit. I was talking to somebody. I'm going to say this. I'm going to let you go. I, I am trying to be time conscious for your sake. Uh, I was talking to somebody earlier today, and I said to them, we were talking about this nation. This nation is founded on godly principles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They that's history. Amen. Mm -hmm. They they came for religious freedom. Yes. Why, why do you think God's name was in so many places? Amen. Amen. It's still on your money. My Lord, my King. Amen. Glory. But because they become so democratic. They start trying to remove hey. God's name. Yeah. They, 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 they removed it because they are amending the Constitution. So it won't be so God focused. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That's, that's nothing but a trick of the enemy. That's all. That's all. And, and he's yeah. making laws. Hey. They're making laws. Oh. That offends God. Amen. Amen. And we want to comply to those laws instead of standing. Listen, it's time to stand. Yes. Say. The word of God. Say. 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 Don't be scared. Say. Don't be scared. Don't, don't be scared. God yes, sir. has not given us the spirit of fear. That is again. What do you believe? That, that's, that's your faith right, right there. What do you believe? He's not given us the spirit of fear. The power of love and a sound mind. Let me extend the privilege of the house. My brothers and my sisters everywhere, everywhere that's listening and tuned in, you tap into the kingdom by the born again experience. The born again experience. That's believing in Jesus. Listen, to believe in Jesus as the Son of God brings about a major, radical, revolutionizing change. It's 180 degrees. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm scared of the folk that he turned all around. <laughs> I'm scared of Cause if you turn all around, you right back where you started. 
360 degrees. But I ain't what you need. You need 180 degrees. Uh -huh. That's why it's revolutionizing. That's why it's radical. If you can believe that, I promise you a radical change in your life right now. Listen. Secondly, let me say to your dad, repentance is the order of the hour. John preached it. Jesus preached it. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's here now. Open your mind that God may saturate your mind with the things of the kingdom so you can put your thoughts on things above. You know, I be want to, y'all pray for me because I, I be want to slap folk. <laughs> I mean, when, when they criticize folk, well, you can't even speak to folk now. They say, how you doing? You say, how you doing? I'm best in how you doing. Like, it's something wrong with that. What, what's wrong with proclaiming your best and how you doing? You're a child of God. Yes, I'm asking you all. What's wrong with greeting like that? Yes, sir. They're so super spiritual. You're so super fleshy. Oh, my. That's your problem. Because all I have is to give him glory. But you don't get it. Somebody don't get it. You ain't no bad self, but forgive me. I am nothing. Without him, you you take it any way you want to. But I'm nothing. I know without him. Yes, sir. Everything that I am. Listen, let me make a few announcements while they come 